in conversation with India's men's uh, hockey team coach Roland Oltman. Roland, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, um, you've been the high performance director for Hockey India for very long, uh, but now you're in what you call a danger zone, being the coach. Uh, just tell us about your new challenge. How are you taking that? Yeah, well, it, I think at this point it was uh, a logical choice to ask me to uh, to lead the team until the Olympic Games, uh, and and yeah, it's a challenge. There's no doubt about that, but also an honor and uh, I always said I love the way Indians are playing and now I try to to add something to that mm -hmm. and uh, make sure that we will be able to perform on top level at the Olympic Games we have one year to go that's different to uh, my first two temporary appointments before the Asia Cup in 2013 and the Champions Trophy in 2014 uh, when I had just four or five weeks uh, to to prepare the team now I have one year that's quite that's quite some time and I'm convinced that we will improve in that period. If that's enough uh, to win the Olympics or to win even a medal, I can't say that. You never can. But I'm 100% I'm convinced that we will improve ourselves in this period of time. Okay. Um, you're now completely in charge of the team. You're the coach of the team. Uh, this team has seen ups and downs uh, as it has seen coaches you know, coming in and leaving as well. When you took over as coach, when you were officially announced as coach, what's the first thing you told the guys? I told them one thing, that they need to understand that they are not only an athlete at the moment we are together on the pitch, but they have to act like that for 365 days a year in, in every single inch of their body. Okay. Um, uh, you've seen again these coaches come and go. Is it frustrating? What, what do you make of the situation? And everyone has given administrative hassle as a common reason for not being able to adjust here and not being able to stay here for long enough. Yeah, well, it's, it's of course it's disappointing because we, we have had some good coaches. And that's disappointing, but at the same time, uh, you need to understand that, that there are cultural differences and uh, yeah, we need to adapt to that. Uh, India is not Holland and not Australia. And uh, yeah, we are guests here, more or less. And we need to understand that there are certain differences and there always will be. And yeah, you cope with that or you don't want to cope with it. That's your choice. Uh, then in that way, you're a guest here too. How have you adapted to the culture so far? It's been about three years for you here. Yeah. yeah, well, the, the good thing for me was, of course, that I had some experience already. Mm. Yeah, because I was already in the subcontinent in 2003, 2004 when I was coaching Pakistan. So yeah. I've learned in that period quite a lot. Um, uh, and. and yeah, that is lessons that I've learned there and also lessons that I've learned during Hockey India League I keep in mind. Okay. And finally, um, we were the first side to qualify for the Olympics. Uh, do you think though because of all this that happened off the field we've missed out on some important uh, time or do we now, uh, uh, what do we, how do we make up for it in these 365 days? No, what, what I told to the players uh, honestly is I said guys, uh, we can feel ourselves like victims and we lost time or we can look at it like we have been able to work with some other top coaches in the world and try to implement in our approach in the upcoming year what the good things that you have learned from people like Terry and Paul. Thank you so much for speaking with us and good luck for the Europe Tour. Thank you very much. Thank you.